Alright, so for this video I'm going to be showcasing a mercenary that is very slept on that I think can actually be really useful, especially for higher players count or whatever the case may be, simply because you get a lot of protection from battle cry against physical damage from enemies. In addition to that, he doesn't do bad damage and then on top of that he's got amp damage that he can cast on bosses and stuff so when you tele stomp him and you're just hitting him with a whole bunch of holy bolts or you could smite him if you wanted to but I mean I get more damage personally on this build out of holy bolt. One of the issues with this is that his battle cry will override the amp damage but most of the time you're going to benefit most from your own damage rather than your mercenary. But I find that he is good crowd control when he does do battle cry sometimes. And then I found a use for the ugly bunny rabbit ears because everybody doesn't like to put them on their barbarian. But found this F the other day. Pretty good defense on it, plus the combat skills, plus the war cry, IAS, life leech. Can't go wrong with it, in my opinion, for a mercenary especially. It could be good on a frenzy one as well. I really wish. The Frenzy Mercenary could wield two dual hand, two, uh, two dual wield two handers because I mean, just imagine getting amp damage on your Frenzy Mercenary. That would be pretty awesome. But then that would also lower the value of uh, Brand Bow. So yeah, let me take you guys through this. I'm gonna go through the. Uh... Wait, that's that's too big. There we go. So I'm gonna just rush through. Um chaos real quick go through chaos as fast as I can just so I can show you the mercenary fighting uh, Diablo and everything by himself show you what it looks like if he's gonna be soloing my reason for not using an insight mercenary or whatever is simply because I got redemption aura and in my opinion that's better than insight better than meditation because you get life and mana Not even gonna bother with every enemy in here. But I mean, as you can see, like, this character, honestly, the Bowden, especially on players one, you don't even really need a mercenary. I might actually do another one showing how good a paladin with just conviction having an act one mercenary benefiting off the conviction just showing how good that does another thing if you didn't know if you're right if you're close enough range you notice i'm not taking damage from his lightning diablo's unable to hit me with the lightning when i'm up close like this see he's he's got the battle cry on him right now <laughs> so i mean just the amount of distraction there goes the amp damage there he overrided overrode overrode his skill again but I mean if I was a physical build even like if I was a frenzy barb if I was a whirlwind barb this could be really useful as well for the amp damage and for the battle cry because then I wouldn't need to cast battle cry myself and then if I was to put fortitude on him he'd be doing like 6,000 7,000 damage or something with fortitude but I mean, essentially, all I do is telly stomp him and do that. Telly stomp him, I turn on fanaticism, and then just holy bolt him down. That's the reason why I do like to go for the uh, 125 faster cast rate on my Foden. Even though you really only need 75 and you can get harder hitting, um, harder hitting holy bolts. On that same note, being able to cast them that much faster and then you just telly stomp the boss like that like the same you would if you were smiting or something telly stomp them and then you got your barb doing some work as well i'm just going to i'm just going to telly straight to the straight to bail but even like him during bail waves and things like that i think he does a decent amount of help Especially with something like these right here, these annoying non-undead, non-demons. Do 
these, I literally have to let the Merc kill him unless I just want to like fist of heavens him down. Which I actually think works better than waiting on the Merc sometimes, because sometimes the attack rating is just kind of garbage on the mercenaries. But I think he's a good a good addition. Definitely something I'd probably think would be more beneficial if you're using Enigma with him. But at the same time, I think, for instance, if I was to play ladder or something, or not to play ladder, but if I wanted to like make a conviction paladin or a paladin that used conviction or a I'd probably go with like an Act 1 mercenary or maybe Act 3, probably not. Probably Act 1 because you can get so much benefit off of their elemental damage and then boost up their damage a good bit with your Conviction Aura. Really, it's just the, uh, it's going to be the boss fight where this mercenary helps the most because, I mean, everything just drops from my holy bolts. But I do think if you were to have a higher player count, I do think that he'll kind of come into play a little bit more in terms of kind of being like a meat shield for you to protect you. And, you know, he's more tanky than the other mercenaries are. And that battle cry can actually help you with, you know, something like those guys say, I was on a higher player count, and that final bail wave, you know, is taking dramatically less damage from my holy bolt because their life pool is bigger. Then having somebody like him with the battle cry really helps. I didn't really get the best telly stomp off the bat, but just even having him up on bail like that just lets me just brainlessly sit there and hold down left click with the with the holy boat. Like just imagine if this was like a hammered in and I wanted to play cows, him having the um battle cry would help stay alive more in cows so I mean there's different different ways that I think you could be creative with mercenaries and get good results other than you know all the tried and true methods that everybody's been using for all these years especially as they continue to make changes to the game and maybe they have little you know oversights and things maybe that you know, they might not notice in terms of, like, having, um, you know, bugs or glitches or something doing maybe more or less damage than it should do. But yeah, let me know. Would you, would you try this combination? Is it stupid? Am I stupid? <laughs>